So the second part of the main components is the EVAP system. The EVAP system's responsibility is to store fuel vapors when you're filling your gas tank and also fuel vapors that are just created as the gas sits inside of the fuel tank. Instead of allowing those vapors out into the atmosphere, what the system does is it stores them inside a charcoal canister. From the canister, then the engine will usually supply a vacuum and draw them out of the canister. We recycle them into the intake where we burn them off and then shoot them out the tailpipe. When we do a visual inspection, we're looking for a lot of the, the components for the EVAP system, such as the canister, the vent solenoid, and the purge valve. And a lot of vehicles, particularly newer ones, like our 2006 Nissan Sentra that we have here, the EVAP canister and the vent solenoid are located in the rear. Because of that, you're not required to actually lift the vehicle and look underneath to see if the canister is actually present. What you are gonna do is you're gonna do a visual inspection based off of what's available up in the engine compartment. Another note I'd want to make sure I mention is a 2006 will not require a visual inspection of the gas cap. Unlike our old vehicles, 99 and older, where the technician will have to remove the gas cap, here, we don't have to take it off. What I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys is the visual inspection process of what components we do have underneath the hood. Let's go ahead and check it out. When we're looking at the EVAP system, the one thing that we wanna look for and see if we can identify, in this case, is this green cap. This green cap is usually attached to the EVAP service port where a technician would be able to connect the machine that pumps smoke into the system to identify for leaks. So if you see this green cap, that's a good indicator that that might be an EVAP line. Keep in mind that not all manufacturers use this, so don't expect to see it on every car. So we're gonna go ahead and tug on the hose and make sure that the hose is properly connected on all ends. This hose takes us to a solenoid, and this solenoid is controlled by the engine computer. The engine computer is gonna turn this solenoid on, and this is gonna allow the system to draw all the vapors back from the engine, from the tank, bring them up, and then push them into the engine where they get burnt off. And that would be our visual inspection for the EVAP system.